Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. The purpose of this video is to show you how you can handle project interdependencies in Smartsheet. And what I mean by this is when you have one project which has an impact on another project and there are key timings. And it's a question that many people ask me in terms of, well, how do you get the two to interact with each other? So let's have a look. So in this case, I've got a program plan and you can see I've got various projects and they're all flowing. And actually these are happening separate from one another. However, what I know is that actually Clubcart, we've made a decision that we can't actually start it until we have now launched Zap. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create an interdependency between these projects to say that the start of Clubcard is dependent upon this having launched. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the time plan and what I've got up at the top here is I've got the Zap time plan and that's fine. That will change as needed. I'm going to go into the club car time plan and in here at the start of it, I'm going to insert a new row and I'm going to say project Zap launch. And for this, what I want to do is I want to create a dependency. And so I'm going to link the cell from another sheet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find Zap. So if I'm just going to search in here, Zap time plan, if I search for there, the Zap will come up. Here we go, Zap time plan. And in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the date where I'm going to link it to. So I want it to not start until it has launched. So the launch and learn, the go live is on the 5th of May. So I'm going to create this link. What we can do is you can see that link is now inserted in this project time plan and it's starting at this moment here. So I'm going to turn that into being a milestone firstly. And on the basis now this is creating interdependency, I'm going to set that as a predecessor. So the kickoff can't start until Zap has launched, in which case here I'm going to say that, that the task three is a predecessor. And you can see the whole time plan has moved out accordingly. So I'm going to refresh this bit and the timings have changed accordingly. So you can see now that the club card won't start now until the 9th of May, 2022. And if we go to the, back to the program plan, again, if I refresh this, it should be that this will update as well and the timings will move out. And you can see club card has moved out accordingly on that basis to be in line with that. And again, if there happens to be any delays, so let's just go back to um, Zap and insert some delays on the timings. And if I go back to the launch prep and what needs to happen here, so just looking at the timings here, and what I'm going to do is mobilize assets. I'm now going to create that and make that to be 20 weeks instead. And you can see it's pushed out the timings again. So now the launch date won't be until the 7th of July. So I've updated that piece. Now, it might take a bit of time to flow through to this, but you can see that link is still there. And so what I'm going to do is hopefully if I refresh, it's going to encourage it to update. Again, sometimes it can take a bit more time to update here. And Project Zap, Zap Launch, it still hasn't flown through, but that will flow through very shortly. Um, so again, just give it one more push just to encourage it. But the point is that that link is in there. And so eventually it will flow through and that will come through onto the overall time plan. And there you go, you see it's just happened now. And in the same way, so it's pushed the date out to August because I changed it with another plan. So again, the key here is I'm right clicking and I'm going to link to sell from other sheets. So it doesn't have to be at the start, it can be anywhere in your project where you've got interdependency. You don't have to create this extra line I have for clarity for other people. But again, you can just say, well, if there's a business requirement or the comms plan and it's dependent on, you can just link that task to a date from somewhere else and it updates. And again, so let's now look at the program plan here. You can see the dates are here. I somewhat imagine it's going to be bad news because the program plan is going to move out even further. And there we go. So you can see it's moved up even further on that basis. So there you go. A quick view in terms of project interdependencies within Smartsheet. Hope that's been useful and more videos to follow. Bye for now.